Hi. Now in this question, what we've got to do is solve the equation x minus 6x to the power half plus 2 equals 0. Giving your answers in the form p plus or minus q multiplied by root r, where p, q and r are integers. So if you'd like to give this a go, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back and you can see the work solution or fast forward to the end just to uh, check out your working. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So uh, let's see how we would go about something like this. Well, first of all, what I notice is that this is a quadratic equation in x to the power half. Why? Well, what we could do is we could say let t, for instance, equal x to the power half. And if I did that, then x here is the same as t squared. So what we would have is therefore t squared minus, and this becomes 6t, okay, plus 2 equals 0. So what we've got here is a quadratic equation in t, or a quadratic equation in x to the power half. So in order to solve something like this, we would either want to factorize it, but when I look at the answers here, it seems to suggest this kind of format which is going to be using the formula. Okay, we're not going to get an exact answer. So if we use the formula, remember the quadratic formula, if we've got something of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then x equals minus b plus or minus the square root, okay, of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So we're going to use that formula here. Let's just box that, okay, just to draw your attention to that. Okay, so in our question here, a is 1, b is minus 6, and c is 2. So it's going to be t equals or you don't have to change this to t's, you could just leave it as x to the half. It's up to you, okay? So t, in this case, would equal minus b. That would be 6, because we're doing minus minus 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So we've got minus 6, all squared, minus then 4 multiplied by a, a being 1, multiplied by c being 2, all divided by 2a, 2 times 1, just simply 2, okay? I'll put it in as 2 times 1, but it is obviously 2. Cleaning this up, what have we got? We've got the 6 here, plus or minus the square root of, and then we've got 36, minus 8, which is 28, and it's all divided by 2. Now, I can pick up on tw the root of 28 because that contains a square factor, number 4. So, therefore, what we've got here is this is exactly the same as doing 4 multiplied by 7. 4 7 is 28 there, all divided by 2. And I can then say that this is exactly the same as 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 7. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. I don't know the square root of 7, so we just leave that in as root 7. And then that's divided all by 2. Now we've got two terms here on the top. And so we can divide each of these two terms by 2. And that gives us 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And then we've got 2 root 7 divided by 2. The 2's cancel, just leaving me with that root 7. So we've got 3 plus or minus root 7. OK, well, that is t 
we've got to get what x is. So t is x to the power half. So to get what x is, I've got to square this result. So therefore, what we have is x is going to equal 3 plus root 7, 3 or 3 plus or minus root 7. I'll just take the plus root 7 first though. x is going to equal 3 plus root 7 squared. And if we do that, that's going to be 3 plus root 7 multiplied by another 3 plus root 7. And expanding this in the usual way, we're going to have 3 threes and 9 plus 3 root 7 plus another 3 root 7. So that's going to be plus 6 root 7. And then we've got root 7 multiplied by root 7 which is going to be root of 49, which is 7. And then this is equal to 9 and 7, which is 16, plus 6 root 7. And that is in this format here. We still got to do, though, I'll put or, we still got to do x equals 3 minus root 7 all squared. And again, if we expand this as 3 minus root 7 multiplied by another 3 minus root 7, then we're going to get 3 threes are 9, and then we get minus 3 root 7 minus another 3 root 7, so that's minus 6 root 7, and We've got minus root 7 times minus root 7, which is plus the root of 49, which is 7. And finishing this one off, we've got 9 and 7, which is 16, but we've got minus 6 root 7. So we've got two answers then, 16 plus 6 root 7 and 16 minus 6 root 7. And we've got it in this form, as I say, P is going to be 16. Q, well that will be the 6, because you can have plus or minus Q, so it'll be plus or minus the 6, and R will be the 7. Okay?